I absolutely understand that people are done with this. I, I live in a community. I have neighbors. I, I talk to people all the time, and we want to move on. The pandemic clearly top of mind for the Premier as the province's throne speech lays out the path ahead over the next year for B.C. In the months ahead, your government's top priority will continue to be keep, keeping people healthy and safe through the rest of the pandemic. It can be easy to forget how far we have come. The pandemic, the opioid epidemic and fires and floods. While recovering and working on these crises, government clearly holding steady on other key priorities. Affordability, child care and health care. On this, Horgan continuing the full court press for more federal money. My job is to make sure that the federal government fully understands that they can't continue to talk about a national health care strategy if 80% of it's being paid by individual provinces, some with greater capacity than others. Also pointing out action from Ottawa is vital to the opioid crisis and safe supply, an epidemic more deadly to BC than COVID-19. To the economy, Horgan says BC's retained one of the strongest in the country. It doesn't happen by accident. It happens by having investor confidence. It happens by having a skilled workforce. And it happens by making sure that government can be responsive to new ideas as they come forward. Where the throne is broad strokes, the real meat will come in the budget in two weeks' time. A lot of it is, here's, we've, we've had a plan. We're kind of sticking with the plan. We're making some progress on the plan. <laughs> um, and also acknowledging that, gee, like, We've had a lot of tough stuff happen lately, so we're trying to kind of clean up. And this, he says, is not unexpected. There's clearly work to do on a lot of different files, and everyone's busy working on them. <laughs> and that's sort of uh, where they're at uh, right now. As for the pandemic, while the speech refers to the months ahead, Horgan says it will take the time it takes, but it's clear the goal is to get back to life being like it was. We want to make sure that we don't uh, do it in a reckless and cavalier manner just because uh, people are honking horns. Horgan's clear he's not feeling pressure from the protests nor from the approach other provinces are taking, but on continuing steady ahead. We have a ton of work from last year that we need to keep working on. And we, we don't know what the future holds, but we need to be prepared for any eventuality. And that's why we're working on a whole bunch of fronts. In Victoria, Lisa Yuzda, City News.